you don't know. In the morning of September 13th, after President Bush visits with me that morning and all the other survivors that are in the burn center at the ICU and Washington Hospital Center's burn unit, Mel returns back to the, the ICU and there's a DNR placard. DNR stands for Do Not Resuscitate. A nameless, faceless bureaucrat from Walter Reed Army Medical Center who thought that they saw Colonel Birdwell as a piece of property, as somebody that they could decide whether I should be resuscitated or not, came into my operating or came into my ICU room while Mel and the President and Dr. Jordan and Dr. Jang are outside with President Bush and Mrs. Bush and placed a DNR placard on my clipboard, specifically instructing Dr. Jordan to not resuscitate me should I go into respiratory, uh, heart, or other sort of arrest that I was not to be resuscitated. Your taxes paid a $2.4 million medical bill to keep me alive and reconstruct me, and that's what was actually billed, let alone what was written off by the medical facilities that were very gracious in their treatment of me. Thank God. If you pass that bill, if that bill passes in its current state, regardless of the f reforms that have been talked about, and you give government authority to step into your medical care, Instead of Mel walking up to Dr. Jordan and saying, you will resuscitate Brian, you will ignore the DNR that's on his placard from the Army, and you will keep him alive, Dr. Jordan would be obligated to say, Mel, I have to do what the government tells me to do, and I will not resuscitate Colonel Birdwell because a nameless, faceless bureaucrat has told me that $2.4 million is beyond that we will spend to keep him alive. That's exactly what will happen to you. I stand before you not just because I had great physicians or exceptional physicians like Dr. Jordan, Dr. Jang, Dr. Williams, and many others. I stand before you because the Commander-in-Chief of Life, the great physician, knew better in what was going to happen with Brian Birdwell than a nameless, faceless bureaucrat at Walter Reed Army Medical Center. God bless you. I give you this warning because I've lived it. God bless you. God bless Texas. And God save our men and women in uniform. Y'all take care.